In this video, we're going to be looking at long run average costs. So first of all, the long run average cost curve is made up of many, okay, it's made up of many short run average cost curves, okay, that a firm faces throughout its lifetime. So if we look at this diagram here, we have costs on the y axis up here, and we have output down here on the x axis. Now this big U shaped curve here, this is the LRAC, the long run average cost curve. As you can see, the long run average cost curve is a combination of all of the short run average cost curves that a firm faces, and it's the minimum points of these curves. So you, when you put all these short run average cost curves together, if you join up the dots at the minimum points, you will get the long run average cost curve. Okay. So that's what it is. Okay. Now, when the firm grows in size and the long run average cost falls, this is called economies of scale up until this point here. Okay. At that point here, at that point there, we reach the minimum efficient scale. Okay, and that is where the firm is most efficient in terms of its long run average costs. After this point, the firm grows in size and as a result, costs start to go up, long run average costs start to go up. This is called diseconomies of scale. Okay, and that is due to various inefficiencies that the firm starts to face when it gets bigger and bigger. We will cover economies and diseconomies of scale in a separate video, but this is the curve that you need to draw to demonstrate economies or diseconomies of scale. Okay? So just remember that these SRAC curves, the short run average cost curves, okay? These are costs that are faced by the firm at one point in time. Okay, so this might be, for example, you know, 2010. This might be 2011. This might be 2012. It doesn't really matter. It might be, they, they might only be one month apart. The point is, on each curve, the firm faces a new curve, new SRAC curve, every time it increases uh, it's factor inputs, it's fixed factor inputs. So for example, whenever whenever the firm purchases new capital to expand the business, okay, every time it grows, it faces a new short run average cost curve. And when you connect these dots up, you get the long run average cost curve, okay? The other thing I will say with this is, because I've seen this many times uh, via tutoring, various uh, students do not confuse diseconomies of scale with diminishing returns okay it's not the same thing Dimin uh, uh, diseconomies of scale dos as i put it here diseconomies of scale is long run okay the law of diminishing returns is in the short run okay so diseconomies of scale is not the same thing as diminishing returns, okay, which is what causes the short run average cost curve to start rising. So don't get those two things mixed up. Okay, now, the other thing is that the LRAC, the long run average cost curve, it may shift up or down. Okay, so as, I, as I've drawn it here, it might shift down or up, but it will be due to external factors outside of the business's control. So for example, taxation might change. So if taxes are lower, then it could cause LRAC to go down. Technology might improve, which might cause LRAC to go down. There might be external economies or diseconomies of scale, which might cause the LRAC to go up or down as well. Okay, so we will, back to this point here, external diseconomies of scale, that's gonna be covered in a separate video. Now, 
Another type of long run average cost curve that you might come across is this one here, which is like an L shaped curve. So not a U shaped, it's an L shaped curve. Okay. Now this curve is something that you might be asked to draw or know about. Okay. And this curve is especially in industries where there are uh, less humans in relation to capital machinery. Okay. Because what happens is, is that human beings, when there's a lot of human beings in a business, there can be various inefficiencies in the business. So communication and managerial inefficiencies. These inefficiencies are what cause, is what causes the LRAC to start going up. Okay. So yeah, when you have a lot more machines and less human beings, you get less of that diseconomies of scale and you might even face this L-shaped curve here. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's the end of this video. Any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below.